everybody so it is Wednesday morning at about 9 40 or so we are on our way to take Boomer over to the vet's office we're in the truck right now and he's in the cat carrier here on my lap not a happy boy right now yeah he's kind of kind of scared I don't know if he thinks we're going to be leaving him somewhere. Hey, baby. Kevin's driving, and we are off. So we will... Oh, there he is. Now he's looking at you guys. What's the matter, Boomy? Boomy. Boomy. Nope. No. <laughs> you can't come out. Yeah, yeah, before you get your blood and take our hands. Oh, I know. Yeah, so he's, he's pushing. <laughs> he's determined, isn't he? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Stay inside. Okay. Yeah. looks a little more comfortable now. I think that's because I'm scratching his butt. You've got the, the instant clean button. Just wish he could reach his butt to clean it. <laughs> what do you pull around? So, Boomy, you gotta take you to an ophthalmologist. Op ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. For cats. Yeah. Um, there's nothing visibly wrong that the vet can see. So we have to go to an ophthalmologist for cats. And I'm kind of concerned. Um, she's talking about tumors tumors behind his eye. And uh, we don't usually have much luck with those types of situations. Yeah, you know, I know, Wumi. We'll be home soon. We'll be home soon. So we stopped off at Jack in the Box. I had my greasy tacos. Belle had her usual whatever that is. Supreme croissant with a hash brown. Mm. So the doctor said that his eye is protruding slightly. The pressure behind it is not it's not high, so it's not glycoma. So that it could indicate that there's a tumor behind his eye. So, but we don't know. She doesn't know. She says she can't make that decision. She wants to send us to an ophthalmologist. So right now we're going to go to Kaiser Riverside and um, go talk to some people over there and see what we can do about changing our uh, coverage so that we can actually afford it. Who is it that recommended that? It was Bambi S again. So, and Bambi's been really helping us out. This is good. Okay, so we have a little bit of good news. Uh, thanks to Bambi S making us go out and check. Um, basically, what we discovered today is since Val has, has been on, um, what is it, Medicare? Medica yeah, Medicare. Medicare. She's been on Medicare. We got her on Medicare. And in fact, it was part of her uh, disability. She had to pay for Medicare. But um, we had it set up so uh, since I was paying for her uh, Kaiser, um, apparently I didn't have to be paying for your Kaiser all this time. Um, so she's, I could drop her off the Kaiser and she'd still be covered through Medicare. The Cobra. Um, so... Um, and I told him how much I was paying for mine, and she says, no, 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 just go through uh, Covered Cal, and, uh, and uh, you'll be able to stay with your doctor and probably pay a lot less. And since I'm unemployed, uh, there's programs to help pay for it. So, you know, I thought all the programs were destroyed through uh, um, 
government because that's what they seem to be doing nowadays. But uh, sick, so um, it looks like we're gonna probably save, hopefully, four or five hundred dollars a month. Hello. Hello. He's sleeping. She's sleeping. Oh, there's her head. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Alone, I'm sleeping. Oh, okay. Tiger Lily. It's a tortoise tortie. shell. Oh, with long hair. Long hair, tortie. Hey. Hey, hi. <laughs> Boy, all of you are lazy bums today. Is that it? Yeah, it's siesta time. Oh, we got one sleeping down here. Hello. Uh, uh. Tuxedo. Did I give you an itchy ear? Did I give you an itchy ear? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what are you doing down here? You see me too? You see me, see me? Hello. You're looking at me now. <laughs> Meh. Some mojo. Meh. Leave me alone. <laughs> Bunch of lazy cats. Okay, so I got some crickets for the lizards. So, Val's taking a nap right now before her next doctor's appointment. I'm going to go up and feed the lizards. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> Boats have water, you just want your snacks right now. Alright, let's see how we do. And I will give you one of these. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you a big one. Oh, yeah. Bugs, 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 bugs. Calcium on top of these guys. Chow down in there, buddy. I saw you eat one. Get him. He's right there. Okay, let's see how you guys do. You see him? You see him? This is the kind of traffic we get in when we come back from one of the doctors that I have to go to. That's about a 45 minute drive from the house. Most of my doctors are real close, but this one is further away. There's uh, is that the Mission Inn right there? I'm not real sure, but there's a lot of... Uh... This is downtown Riverside. And there's a nice Spanish style. Yeah. Around here. Some nice buildings down this way. It's kind of a muggy yucky day. Muggy yucky day. Muggy yucky. Sounds Japanese. <laughs> Can I get sushi there? No. No, no sushi at muggy yuckies. Look at this traffic, it's horrible. I hate traffic. And I'm grumpy. I know you are. You're a big old girl. I am. I don't feel well. I'm grumpy. I'm tired. Gotta put you under the dresser with Bootsy. Grumpy, I'm tired, and I'm depressed. So put me under the dresser with Bootsy. I don't care. Throw me a bowl of food under there, too. Okay, well, just make sure that Freckles doesn't climb under there to steal it. Hello, everybody. So, Terry Johnson gave us a very good idea that we're going to implement. She loves the idea that we're doing the trivia, but not everybody likes to or has access to the internet to look up the answers to the trivia questions. 
So you can always try watching horror films. <laughs> so we're going to start asking a question of the day. And the very first thing I'd like to know is, I've gotten to become pretty close to a lot of you, I feel, and I don't know where you all are from. So, leave down in the comments below where you are all from. I think everybody would like to know where each of you are from, because I've noticed even some of our neighborhood community members talk amongst themselves as well. So, let us all know where you're from. Hello, everybody! She's alive! Barely. <laughs> I want to thank you all once again for all your thoughts and prayers and well wishes and stuff. I'm doing okay. Still not feeling the best, but gotta push through. Gotta push through. Well, I had to follow up with my foot doctor after I had my surgery on both my feet and the fibromas are growing back already. So that means most likely more surgery on the bottoms of both my feet. In no time soon. Yeah, I told them that I'm not even gonna consider it right now. Um, Jessica C.T. I told you guys the other day she only had nine subscribers and she wanted to get to a certain number by her birthday. Well, she has nine subscribers and she wants to get to 50 subscribers by her birthday, which is March 20th. So let's see if we can do that for her, you guys. I know that's, that's a shot, but let's do it. Greg Myers. His grandmother passed away. I'm not exactly sure, but he um, left a message that his grandmother passed away, and he was very upset and crying. So um, if everybody could keep Greg Myers and his family and his grandmother in your thoughts and prayers, I would greatly appreciate that. And I'm very sorry, Greg, that I didn't catch that the other day. Um, I took a day off, as you all know. Gina Paul Polonshek. Gina Polinshek, welcome to the neighborhood. I love my singing monsters. Welcome to the neighborhood. And John DiLorenzo, welcome to the neighborhood. So now it's time for neighborhood community credit roll. Hey, so uh, I was hearing that couldn't hear me very well last night because the music was too loud. Uh, I got to apologize for that. Uh, usually compensate. For some reason it's always louder um, when it goes online. And, it, and when we publish it, it so, seems louder. Yeah, but but I was having a pretty tough day, a day yesterday because the battle wasn't going well. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, the question was, um, there's a part in the 1981 Evil Dead on the tape where they're chanting, and then there's the, the evil is supposed to be rising out of the ground. And I mentioned that there was a red light bulb with a little smoke coming out of the leaves. Um, the chanting, part of the chanting was all made up. The part of it said, um, Salmon Rob Dust is Tiger's Dundee Rota, which actually is Sam and Rob are the hikers on the road. So it was just couple of things uh, moved around so it sounded like a chant and Sam Raimi and uh, Ralph Tappert were uh, the producer directors of the movie so that's what I was looking for um, uh, Terry Johnson was the only one who actually got it um, Greg Myers good try okay so for today's trivia question uh, same movie and if you go on to the internet movie database, the imdb.com, and look up uh, the Evil Dead, you'll you'll see on the the actors uh, list uh, a whole bunch of play people playing this guy, Fake Shemp. Who is Fake Shemp? And where does Fake Shemp come from? There you guys have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. So. 
you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up, make sure you go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, which will have a new video up on Friday the 13th. Okay. <laughs> okay, Tracy. And um, Megan's Arts and Crafts. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.